Hey, it's Chris here on my channel, coming he coming to you from Florida, here in Deerfield Beach, Florida. And uh, this week is going to be my last week of being on on vacation after a whole month. So uh, I did a few videos of me doing vacationing in Florida. I have more to go. So before I'm going to be leaving, going back to New York on September the 8th, because this Saturday is going to be my birthday. And uh, hopefully uh, I'm going to be 42 this year. So in the meantime, let's get into this business, shall we? What we hear today, we're going to present to you a Amazon Fire TV stick. See, my my mother, my uncle gave that to me. My mom gave this to me, so it's because he only has the um, the, the Fire TV 4K t Fire Fire Stick 4K, and yep, it's got the Amazon logo on the uh, front of that. It plugs into the AC outlet. And the other one, I'm going to be doing this in another video. We're going to be demonstrating this one, so we're going to be on, a, on another video. And this time, works great. It's brand new. And yeah, and here's the original box itself. It says Fire TV Stick 4K Brilliant Picture Alexa Voice Remote. Yes, we did a video on the uh, Amazon Echo Dot that has a built-in Alexa thing. This is a, a 4K HDR Amazon side it's got sony crackle direct tv now spotify spock sports it's got the uh, fire tv stick 4k alexa voice remote second generation two double trip two triple a batteries power adapter usb cable and uh, of course the htmi extender cable it needs high speed internet with wi-fi hd tv or 4k hd tv with hdmi output the back it's got powerful cinematic entertainment with power with a powerful quad core processor you can enjoy instant access to 4k ultra hd content at up to 50 frames per second brilliant picture color quality and dolby vision and hdr and the audio quality of the dolby atmos yeah i already have one up in new york i have is a is a sony sq decoder which i actually compatible to hook it up i'm using that from my uh for quadraphonic which does surround sound which uh, it, it does the job tens of thousand channels apps and alexa skills watch your favorites from netflix hulu hbo showtime prime video and nbc plus access live news sports as well as millions of websites like youtube facebook and reddit and there's also next gen alexa voice remote just press and ask an easy to find launch and uncontrolled content say alexa find comedies or Alexa play the good place and Alexa will respond dedicated power volume and mute buttons let you control a compatible TV soundbar and uh, receiver yeah like my I have an old-fashioned I have an actually an old uh, vintage um, realistic STA 100 and of course a Sony um, stereo amplifier that hooked and of course the a Sony SQ decoder, which I think that was a nice way to have an old-fashioned hookup set up there. And then, of course, here's your Alexa can switch to cable, control smart home devices. Do more with your Fire TV. Fire TV is always getting smarter with the new Alexa skills, voice function functionally, view live camera feeds, check the weather, order a pizza, and stream millions of songs through Amazon Music, Spotify, Pandora, and iHeartRadio. And of course, it's got Alexa Find Thrillers, Rewinds 30 Seconds, and Alexa Play Fast World, West World, or Alexa Play, Play, Alexa Rewind 30 Seconds. It's got Alexa 4K Ultra HD, Wide Dynamic Range, Double Vision, Atmos, Quad Core, and Wi Fi. Yes, it's got encoded, it's got Dolby Vision Atmos. And here's the bottom. It's made in 2018. And yep, this is actually two years older than that. This is a um, this this device is two years old. It looks pretty cool. It's got uh, it's got a bunch of them: HBO, Showtime, Food Network, Prime Video, Sling, Firefox, NBC, Netflix, Hulu, ESPN, View, PlayStation View, Discovery Go, Stars, Amazon Music. There's no CBS or ABC. It was even not even on there. CW or anything else on there. At any rate. In addition, we got two instruction manuals. One is Fire TV Stick. Say it, play it. It has the original instruction manual to it. It's got a fold-out instructions. 
where you can get all the best in the uh, for your uh, Fire Stick TV. Alexa, it has a Alexa voice remote. Just press and ask to easily find, launch, control movies and TV shows, dedicated power, volume, and mute buttons. Let you control compatible TVs, sound bars, and receivers. It says, Alexa, rewind 30 seconds. Alexa, dim the living room lights. Alexa, show the front door camera. Alexa, set the thermostat to 72. It says, do more Alexa. Ask Alexa to control compatible smart home devices like lights, thermostat, check the weather, view the live camera feeds, and lots more. And uh, there's your, and here's the thing it says, get more with Prime. Unlock thousands of movies, TV episodes, including Amazon Originals and subscription to over 100 channels, including featuring specialty and premium channels like HBO, Showtime, Alexa, Play Marvelous, Mr. Mail. And it's got all your network stuff, you know, E, CBS, All Access, Hulu, PBS, Disney Plus, Stars, uh, CNN Go, VH1, YouTube, A HGTV, NBC, Netflix, EFPN, Showtime, Bravo, Sci Fi, Sling, Food Go, uh, Food Network Go, CBS News, um, Fun Nation Now, AMC, and USA. And it's got something's always on. Choose over 5,000 movie, 500,000 movies and TV episodes. Watch your favorites from Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, Stars, Showtime, or CBS All Access Plus stream for free with Tubi, IMDb TV, and others. Stream live news, sports, and must-see shows. Alexa, find free movies. Or Alexa, open YouTube. And stream your favorite music. Listen to songs, playlist stations through services like Amazon Music, uh, Spotify, Arm Art Radio, and more. With Amazon Music Unlimited, access to over 50 million songs ad-free. Alexa, play 90s music. And there you go. And here's your, uh, here's your instructions on your setup. I'm not going to go through all of these. Here's your... Here's a fold-out instruction manual. This is a, some sort of an advertising gimmick. This is the play it, say it. This is the pamphlet. I know if you want, to, if you're familiar with that, it's got some little interesting stuff. Hold on. And here's what's in the box. It's got your micro USB Fire TV stick, HDMI USB cable for power. It's got your HDMI extender cable, um, power adapter, AA batteries, and this is an easy way to set up your TV into your outlet. And there's your and there's an extender, and there's also power up your Alexa voice command remote with your. Then I'm gonna get to that in a minute. There's your complete on-screen setup, registering your Fire TV stick, and of course your troubleshooting. Yeah, because if you're using you have problems with Wi-Fi or anything. This is actually pretty cool, isn't it? So now we're going to the remote. Here's the remote. This is actually, here's the main remote that you can navigate your thing. Here's your screensaver. It gives you views of other things. Yeah, it's got some breathtaking views. <laughs> Sceneries and a whole bunch of stuff you can use. These are like screensavers. So uh, what I'm doing right now, let's see. Yeah, it's got some nice breathtaking views of other, other countries and landscapes and uh, cities and meadows and mountains and plains. I always loved those places. Snow-capped mountains that look like glaciers. Hmm. There's look like a glacier mountain of so snow. There's also oceans and rocks and oceans there's all this stuff in here but these are breathtaking views i know these are all interesting stuff like alexa how long should i boil an egg okay let's get to the main menu here's your here's your main menu there yes this is a, a main menu device so you can you can choose where you came from it's got your we'll get to that in a minute here you have to search through all the th stuff you have to hold hold press hold to do the voice search and there's also a home. This is the main section of the page of the Amazon Fire Stick. You get, you can get all the stuff, including all the, yeah advertising. It says watch Hannah on Prime Video. There's Newsy, Cheap Steak Shores, 
Watch free with Pluto TV. There's also there's a couple of trailers in here. I'm not going to go through all this stuff. And it's got tips and tricks to welcome to Fire TV. Welcome to Fire TV. Now you can watch live TV and stream over 500,000 movies and TV episodes. Watch favorites from Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, and more. Click here to watch our getting started video. We're not going to go through all this click here thing, so this is a short little demo. So the, and he gives you an option. There's YouTube, there's Netflix, Tubi, and there's also Mobro and the whole thing. There's Cinema Free. We'll have to get to that in a little demo in here. It's got your, it looks like you got news, you got Amazon Music, Internet, Crackle, Photos, Pandora, Local Now, Hulu, and you've got Disney Plus. Well, I'm not really don't need Disney Plus because I'm not a subscriber to it, but I know a lot of people. I, I I've been criticizing about Disney Plus since I'm not a, I'm not a Disney Plus subscriber, so eh, no, thank you. I know I was just trying to get a little bit of a rant here because after I just received comments, I have posted it and they're replying at that. And I know I I respect your opinion. If you don't like I. So, by the way, if you don't like Disney Plus, then I respect your opinion, but I'm not really into the Disney Plus subscriber. I got HBO Max. All you have is HBO Max, Peacock, which I'm getting there down, which I'm getting to review it down the road, and of course HBO Max, which I already did down in the previous video, and of course um, Tubi, and um, all the other stuff. So we're going to this one. Near you get Pluto TV, uh, Vix. Solo. There's a couple of other ones. It's got Amazon Originals, Prime Popular Movies. It's got Sex in the City, the movie. Yes, I know. Cinema Snobbery reviewed that in the past. We talked about Child's Play. Yes. And I know um, I know Cinema Snob did a review of this one. Of course, it's got a whole bunch of stuff on there on um, when it comes to Amazon Prom uh, Fire TV. And it's got free movies. you got all the stuff. they got news from stuff like ABC. CBS News and a whole bunch of stuff. There's sports, games, and apps. There's your other stuff for cable subscription, which I don't really need a, a cable subscription here. There's Disney Now. Well, nah, not really into that. There's a Telemundo USA, uh, E, Freeform. There's a lot of great cable channels. Yeah, you know, you don't get any place else, or you have to find it on the... Um, I know we have... The one up in New York has a cable has direct TV there you can watch free stuff on there so it's got all the whole bunch of stuff in here we got all this bunch of stuff in here it's got a list of stuff basketball movies like yep Space Jam love this movie it's got a whole bunch of Michael Jordan and Looney Tunes I know they're speculating there's gonna be a, a sequel there's gonna be like a sequel that featured LeBron James which I thought that that's it's going to be in the works I know that Space Jam is one of my best, one of my favorite Looney Tunes films. I know I like those. I like all the Looney Tunes movies. Well, that's really good. Along with Back in Action and uh, especially, I always loved them. That's good. And there's also a couple of other stuff. Black Stories. Yes, that's the whole Black. I'm not going to explain that. It's a, this is what because of the Black Lives Matter thing. There's also uh, Prime Video Cinema. And uh, we're not going to go into this one. It's got a bunch of stuff. It's got, look at this, Early Access, Out Stealing Horses, which is two hours and three minutes. There's the fight, Mighty Orc, and the whole thing. Plus a whole lot more where you cannot find anywhere else on the, um, on this on this one. So, well, let's start off with uh, Cinema Free. We're going to go to the Cinema app, and this is what you get. If you have those of you who've not seen this one, they got tons of lots of movies there. I know my mother has a bunch has the same thing. It's got a bunch of app that has tons of movies that you don't find on either streaming services like HBO Max, Disney Plus, and Tubi, and a few other stuff. Uh, Netflix, yeah, because uh, yeah, I don't like the way net, net these movies didn't did go away with Netflix because uh, yeah, those are other stuff. It's got all the whole bunch of movies. It's got your um, family films. You've got family movies. You've got other stuff like yeah, SpongeBob the movie. There's also Harry Potter films. There's actually a lot of um, How to Train Your Dragon, Incredibles two. Yeah, I haven't seen that one yet. Uh, yep, yeah, but it's on Disney Plus. Which I, since I'm not going to Disney Plus, 
yeah, you can choose other movies you want. You got Big Hero 6, Ralph Breaks the Internet, there's Wreck-It Ralph, there's a whole bunch of other titles. There's a bunch more you can find, and look at this. It's got a whole bunch of them. Beauty and the Beast, the 2017 live-action remake, which is actually pretty cool. And you got your uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. You've got Snow White. Yep, the first animated feature. And there's your the, the animated version of The Lion King. I know there's also a live-action remake that is in there. Tangled, Cinderella. There's the Simpsons movie. There's Mary Poppins Returns. The Secret Garden. There's a whole bunch of them. Yeah, the good dinosaur spirit, the stallion of the Cimarron, which I think I haven't watched that. I don't remember watching this movie. And yeah, there's Woody Woodpecker movie from 2012, 2017. Yeah, I know a lot of people have disagreed. I know the people love the remember the original. There's Mulan 2. There's uh, the Narnia films, the, the Narnia trilogy. There's Wreck-It Ralph. There's a bunch of them. Jungle Book. The, look at this, Alice in Wonderland, the 1949 movie that was a, two years before Disney animated version came out. Yeah, now that movie's from 1949, just about two years before the Disney animated movie came out. Well, it became a hit, but yes, there's actually, there's Alice in Wonderland there. There's Princess and the Frog, there's uh, Pinocchio, that was the first movie i ever seen in, when I, was a, when I was like a little baby at the time. And there's also uh, Peter Pan, Lady and the Tramp, um... Hotel Transylvania 2, the, the 1998 remake of the reboot of The Parent Trap, which I think I remember that. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, Night at the Museum, film Dumbo, Cinderella 3, yeah, it's one of my guilty pleasure films. Fantasia, yeah, I know. If you watch um, Brian, if you watch uh, Brendan's movie corner video in the past, back on his old channel, he did a video. When he, when he did that video, uh, Brendan Movie Corner, uh, Brendan Pippin did a rant video about uh, the uh, what is called the French or Canadian VHS of Fantasia. Yeah, it got damaged so many times over the year, over time because of when he bought off eBay. Yeah, and now uh, that was a that was one of the guilty pleasures. You know, people don't have to you know, avoid aware of these French Canadian VHS of Fantasia. Whatever you do, do not buy. French Canadian VHS of Fantasia, which I don't, which is not really guilty pleasure. I also have the American VHS copy of Fantasia, which I got it a long time ago. So we're not going to talk about that. There's Prince Caspian, there's Bambi, there's Aristocats, Tinkerbell series, yes. Yeah, the Tinkerbell movies were just, ugh, they sucked. Yeah, I hate the seven of this series. Yeah, that's because... It's probably one of the Secret of the Wings is a, one of the worst Tinkerbell films in the series. The whole series. There's Frozen Fever, a short. Wizard of Oz, 1939 classic. E.T. El Enchanted, Black Cauldron. And there's also. <coughs> there's Who Framed Roger Rabbit, good one. Robin Hood, It's a Wonderful Life, holiday classic. And yes, the Annie, the 2014 remake. Ugh. I know, I watched it. It was a very good movie. I, I like it better than the original, but yeah, I know, I've seen many reviews. Yeah, I know a lot of people have disagreed the the, the remake than what we know. A lot of people remember the original, but with uh, with Carol Burnett, well, if you know. There's Tinkerbell. Um, there's Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas. Yeah, but like I said, the, the 2014 remake is way better than the original. Well, <laughs> Well, not bad, but it's a good movie. Like, the original one wasn't too bad, but I don't know. I go with the the, the remake. Uh, you know, I know other remakes than the the, the nineteen the, the nineteen ninety eight version, which I have on VHS. It's a, not really good, but wasn't that great. But there's the original Parent Trap. I also have it on VHS. There's also My Little Pony the movie. Blah. I really don't like. I'm not a fan. Um, don't even don't even expect to watch this. This is Doubtfire, and yes, there's a bunch of them. There's Matilda, Fox and Hound 2, eh, one of, the, one of those guilty pleasure Disney sequel, direct-to-video sequels, Oliver and Company, The Muppets, yeah, and, you know, um, Santa Claus, Tarzan 2, Free Willy 2, Return to Neverland, Jimmy Neutron, the boy genius, or what they call it as Johnny Quasar boy genius, <laughs> Uh, there's a... I'm not going to go through all the movies I have to scroll. I have enough to scroll down those movies. Yeah. We're going to go back to 
a few things. I'm not going to go through anything I have to do before. All right, I, I had to scroll this back on. Let's see. You got movies, you got TV shows. You have, there's a section on how you can get your favorite television shows from. Yeah, these are all popular. There's some popular stuff. There's, there's your search engine. There's your search engine. And it's you got your TV shows. There's your stuff. There's Simpsons. There's your... Um, whole bunch of other things including Station 19, NCIS, there's uh, Supergirl, Friends, um, there's a couple of these Law and Order, Law and Order Special Victims Units or the um, Criminal Intent, there's a bunch of Lost, Once Upon a Time, Homeland, Blind Spot, Heroes, Gravity Falls which and I'm not too new to this, I always prefer classic shows. I always prefer classic TV shows than those new modern crap shows, which not really that great. But there are some anime, Sailor Moon, which nah, Paw Patrol, nah, nah, not really. There's Full House, I remember that show. Oh, Full House, I remember that show. Um, there is also Lizzie McGuire, I remember that. I used to watch that show, which nah, I really, nah, was, I was losing interest on that show. There's Sex in the City, yes, I love that show. Um, hmm, I love that one. Y five O, the original, not the not the reboot from the TV series of the original um, Star Wars Rebels. Sesame Street, nah, too old for that. Um, there is also late night. There's uh, some late night talk shows. There's a bunch of them. I'm not really good. Oh, Seinfeld. Uh, well, I that's the show I was losing interest on that. Marvel's Ultimate Spider Man. Yeah, I will stick with the original 1967 cartoon. Rugrats, nah. Saturday Night Live, yeah. I always wanted to do parody versions of the Saturday Night Live skits. Using, I remember back in the good old Go Anime Beyond era. There's a couple of other stuff. It's got Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Uh, I started, I lost interest in this. I'm not, I prefer classics. Yeah, I know. Too much. Too old, too much. And there's also Zoe 101, uh, Lewis and Clark. Um, there's Heartland. That's a show I really like that so much. I don't know if, if I can find Little House in the Prairies on there. I, I would love to watch Little House in the Prairie. I have not watched that in years. I love the old... I always watched, watched old shows like this. Hannah Montana. Uh, Virginian. That's a good Western. I wish that there was Gunsmoke on the show. I mean, the West Wing... Uh, very 90s weeds, Teen Titans. There, I'm not really good. Um, there's also I Am Luna, which I'm not really interested in. There, The Wire. Oh, that, oh my gosh, there's the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on there. Oh, that's a good show. I remember that. Um, the Adventures of Johnny Quasar. Elena. No, I'm not. Oh, that's a good show. I remember that one. I can watch a little House on the Prairie. Oh, this is a good show. I, I really love that one. And there's also um, Bonanza, Faking, and a whole bunch of other stuff. I and mean, I'm not going to go through all, all of this stuff here. So we're going to go through all this stuff here. We're going to go into other things besides that. We got popular. We got movies. We got favorites. You got your history. Shows calendar. It's got a download section. You got your settings. Yeah, if you can choose, uh, <clears throat> I'm not going to go through all these stuff all the time. It's got a whole bunch of other things. There's your, um, so there's your, there's the one. I'm not going to go through there. There's your, um, downloads. There's a download section, which is completely blank. Yeah, you can get all the movies. You have to watch it later. This is like you do with your VCR or a DVR. When you when you have a VHS, well, you can dub it on your VHS tape or a DVD. Yeah, if you if you're losing it, that's that's fine. And there's your movies. We got your films. We got your family section. There's your there's your other genres. These are the section where it features genres. We can go from popular to upcoming to top rated DVD releases, new HD releases. They're all free. You cannot buy a, on the iTunes store because of this. Yeah, it's it's totally free. You have to watch them in whatever you like. 
but um, rather than going to an iTunes store or download any digital copies from the iTunes store, which I'm not really, yeah, because it's wasting all your money on your, on your thing. It's wasting all my money. And yes, there's also a live action remake. I have not watched it at the moment. It's Mulan. You know, wait till it comes if it's on Disney Plus. It's going to be like thirty dollars for. I don't like the. Well, I don't want to. I don't like the way they, that, that this Disney Plus is is going to be running later this week. It's going to be Mulan because we're not going to. Not people aren't going to pay thirty bucks for for the movie to to subscribe to watch a movie. It stinks. Here's Rise of Skywalker. This which I already watched about a month ago. It's a great movie. I always enjoy them. That brought it into a Star Wars movies. Yeah, it's one of the last Star Wars movies ever. And there's also it's Toy Story 4. There's also, yeah, a good film for a send-off to other the Skywalker trilogy saga. The Skywalker saga. I don't know whether there are any more Star Wars movies. Well, we shall see. There's also a lot of those. Charlie's Angels. There's, yeah, Harry Potter. Oh, yes, Harry Potter's a good movie. I always enjoy them. There's a bunch of... Hamilton, yes, you know, you want to watch Hamilton, that's fine. It's free. Yeah, if you like Disney Plus, that's right. If you don't, I don't, this is why I'm not getting Disney Plus. Especially if you get the other stuff for free, for nothing, rather than being a subscription. Yeah, I think subscription, which I did not, I'm not a fan of Disney Plus, which this show or anything like any Disney content from anything, Star Wars, Marvel, and the whole thing. Oh yeah, we haven't watched it yet. The um, this was never released on DVD or Blu-ray. I know there's a Blu-ray bootleg copy floating around that will be leading the tramp on Blu-ray. There is a bootleg copy. It's already on Disney Plus about a few months about probably about a year or six months ago or whatever during launch. There's the live action remake. I haven't watched it yet. Like the Lady and the Tramp, the live action remake. I haven't seen it yet, so we'll have to get to that down the road. And of course, there's um whole bunch of other kind there's the the original Mulan the original animated version I didn't see the live-action remake yet Scooby-Doo uh, Dog's Journey the Beethoven film there's Bo Bill and Ted's bogus journey there's a bunch of some other movies I've had to pick there's a couple of other films that I the emoji movie yeah the movie sucked live action film there's a Snow White there's a Lion King, there's a couple of other films. I don't know why they're going to go into random order here. So there's Tangle, there's Neptune, there's your uh, blah, 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 Aladdin, Little Mermaid, Solo. Yeah, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen another Star Wars film yet. So I'll have to watch Solo and The Last Jedi. Spirit of the Cimarron, the um, um, spirit. How to Train Your Dragon, Brave. Oceans 8, Oceans 8, The Green Mile, Bad Boys, Mean Girls, Coraline, and there's also Megamind, Trolls, uh, Mulan 2, we already discussed uh, Woody Woodpecker, Shrek the Third, Sleeping Beauty, um, there's also uh, Ice Age, yeah, I know, people that disagree that they've removed from Disney+. Plus. Now you go into a Cinema HD app. You can go in through. Yeah, it's, it's, you can go there to Android and even download this app. You can go to the site and download the app, which is Cinema Free. It's on Google Play. You can get that anytime. Sausage Party is the worst film. I don't know. That's so bad. Olaf's Frozen Adventure. There's, um... Oh, yes. Tinkerbell and the Great Fairy Rescue. Yeah. I think they suck. This is from 2010. Yeah, that movie sucked. That was one of the worst Tinkerbell movies ever. Along with Pirate's Fairy and... The other film, the last Tinkerbell movie was from that. I don't really know if I don't remember. It was a really bad movie. I think a lot of Tinkerbell movies sucked. Yeah, that movie. All seven of the Tinkerbell films, they all sucked. I mean... Here's the... Um, Men in Black. Yeah, I mean, this was, uh... All these movies were very charming. I got to look to see if there's anything I can do. It's uh, Despicable Me 2. The Death of Superman. Pinocchio. There's, like, Lion King 2. Pocahontas. The Goonies. 
There's a bunch of them out there. I got so many movies. We got a whole bunch of them. I gotta tell you, yeah, there's people you don't want to buy a DVD, Blu-ray, or anything. You have to buy. There's Cinderella, too. There's them. Yeah, and there's also uh, Bolt, Meet the Robinsons, Top Gun. There's a, a bunch of other things, I gotta tell you. Yeah, here we go. I have to scroll down all the films. There's all this stuff are in here, guys. There's a couple of them out there, I guess. Sex in the City, the movie, yeah, Flintstones, or what they call that as Seven Granddad, the movie. <laughs> you know, we call it this, the live action version of Seven Granddad. <laughs> Lion King, one and a half. Yes, the ending is kind of used as a meme. <laughs> yeah, you could also use that for memes like this. <laughs> I would just gonna tell you. <laughs> um, here's a has the funny ending if you watch the uh, use it as a as a meme. Uh, Tinker Bell and the Lost Treasure or T Two and the Lost Treasure. Not to be confused with Terminator Two. The first live action remake of Gone of Life of 101 Dalmatians, yes. Yes, we talked about Gone with the Wind. We already talked about uh, the HBO Max got pulled during its first week and then they brought it back with a new intro with a special introduction. Yes, it's one of the first movies that kind of a yeah, it's about black people, you know, these black the whole Black Lives Matter campaign and uh, this this uh, because of this protest has been going on for, I don't know, about months now since following the death of George Floyd. And, of course, there's a ton, crap ton of films out there. Scooby-Doo, there's some Scooby-Doo films, direct-to-video Scooby-Doo movies, Anastasia, Peter Rabbit, American Pie, Grease, there's um, Planet of the Apes, Meet the Robinsons, Secret of the Wings, there's a bunch of High School Musical, there's High School Musical, Alvin the Chipmunks, Chipwreck, yeah, it's, a lot of people hate it, this movie, yeah, this owned the movie, ugh, gee whiz, Brother Bear 2, ugh, Frozen Fever, that's a short, well, I think Frozen 2 is a great film, then. Than the other the other ones. Supergirl. There's a singing in the rain with Gene Kelly. Ellen Enchanted. There's a couple of other films. Return of Jafar. Romance. Uh, don't see any nudity here. <laughs> Mary Poppins. There's also. Um, I spit on your grave. Yeah, not really horror. Enchanted. Lady in the Tramp 2. Uh, we already talked about Roger Rabbit. Blah, 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 blah. The rest goes, the list goes on and on and on and on and on. Austin Powers and Gold Member. The last of the, one of the Austin Powers trilogy. Pretty Woman with Julia Roberts. There's Star Trek Deep Impact. Hocus Pocus, Bugs Bunny's 1001 Rabbit Tales. Yeah, that's the one I wish if HBO Max would show all these Looney Tunes anthology movies will be going over to HBO Max. Like this one, or the Bugs Bunny Roadrunner movie, Daffy Duck's Quack Busters, and Daffy Duck's Fantastic Island. I wish if it, it would consider to go into HBO Max. It, it may be in, in the foreseeable future. Might be able to consider to put it into HBO Max. Yeah, it's like some of those anthology movies. Well, and there's also 100, 101 Dalmatians 2. I know we already discussed Tinkerbell. High School Musical 2. High School Musical 3. Senior Year. Cars. Mamma Mia. Here we go again. I know there's a, a second movie called Mamma Mia, Here We Go Again. Which there's anything. Sound of music, uh, 
we're not gonna go through all this stuff. Karate, the next Karate Kid and the uh, Dawn of the Dead, or well, I expect to see what they're doing in here. Man, oh man, oh man. Great Mouse Detective. Most popular ones were musicals. Well, we're not gonna go through all this stuff. Yes, we got all the stuff of animation, drama, horror, action, comedy, history, thriller, westerns, documentary, sci-fi, and music. Yeah, these were musical. We'll go to the musical section and see what it is. Trolls, Lion King, the live action remake, Hamilton, Sing. Uh, there's also um, other movies I always want to go through all this stuff. I think these are these are a lot to have fun. I'm I'm having oh yeah Saturday Night Fever, yeah one of those movies and the soundtrack looks pretty awesome. Even the soundtrack album was awesome. Well, I can give credit to that because I always prefer the soundtrack. You know the movie was great, but the soundtrack was a, was fantastic. All B G S stuff. Yes, yeah, so a bunch of B G S songs. There's the Three Caballeros. There's Kiss the Cry, Dream Girls. Uh, Raise, uh, raise your voice with Hilary Duff. Oh yes, Legend of Oz. Yeah, the movie is so bad. Don't even want, expect to watch those movie. I mean, it sucks. It's my one of those guilty pleasure films. You know, we watch Animat's video just explaining about the Oz uh, sequel, but it was so bad. Melly Time, Woodstock. Yes, the TV remake, which I am really big, not really the. This is not a guilty pleasure for me. I mean, this is, which I have a VHS, but not my guilty pleasure. Yeah, don't watch this movie. Yeah, but uh, Muppet Christmas Carol. There's like, there's a couple of them. Daft Punk, Cinderella, with Winnie Houston, Brandy. I also have the 1997 demo VHS of that of this one, but which I have home. King and I, yes, that's a good movie. I, there's a bunch of other ones. There's some silly symphonies. There's like, yeah, The Three Little Pigs. The 1933 Oscar winning film from like 1933. Animal Crackers from 1930. We have Pooh in the Plus Three Day. And uh, there's also. Um, I know these are all in random order. Elmo and Grouchland. Whitney Houston. Baby, baby, baby. Metallica. Jingle Jangle. South Pacific. There's Muppet Treasure Island. Dance Entertainment 3. Teacher's Pet. One of the worst movies ever. That's not really good. <laughs> I used to watch that film, but eh, terrible. That's entertainment. Going my way, Babes in Toyland with an infinite cello. Where is that? Where's that? Shakira. Curly Top. Oh, yes, I have. That's a Shirley Temple movie. Oh. Valley of the Dolls. Um, this way, we're going to go through all these. I have a scroll. But it's taken very long to make because only 30. We're close to about maybe about 40 minutes long. Probably 40, 50 minutes long. I'm not sure how long it's going to be doing this for the whole video to to do. Because Kiss Me Kate, there's a bunch of these out there. I guess Carousel, Red Side Story. There's like tons of musicals. Pure country. And this is right. Superfly. Yep, the 1986 TV movie with uh, Drew Barrymore. The TV remake of Babes in Toyland. Little Mermaid 2. The Sound of Music Live. Uh, yeah, I'm not really thrilled with this. I really prefer the original film version with Judy Andrews. And um, there's Magical Mystery Tour. Um, yeah, it was a 1967 TV special that was uh, made for the UK. It was a it was a t an hour long TV movie or it's a TV special planned as a special, but. Bright Eyes with Shirley Temple. There's also, yeah, there's a bunch of Shirley Temple films out there. Oklahoma. 
Elvis, yeah, a lot of Elvis movies. You got tons of Elvis. Bye Bye Birdie. There's Peter Pan Live. There's. I prefer one with Mary Martin a lot better. Legally Blonde. There's Bye Bye Birdie, the 1995 version, which, uh, yeah, really not my guilty play. I haven't watched that in years. I haven't watched, I haven't seen it before, but I'll have to check it one day, which, yeah, I really don't. I'll see if it's good or not. It's. There's a bunch of, I know the original was with, I don't remember the original with Anne Margaret. Sweet Charity, Cup of Girl with Betty Grable. The Identical. Into the Woods. Britney Spears Live from Las Vegas. A Smoky Mountain Christmas with Dolly Parton. Beyonce. I really don't really care for Beyonce. Britney Spears, Apple Music. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Live at Roseland. Beyonce, which I'm not... I don't know if it's Beyonce or Britney Spears. Nina Moocher from Betty Boop from the 1930s. It's a Max Fisher cartoon. Bandstand. That's in Tim Part 2. The Gertie Show. Madonna. Live. What they call the Madonna. Here we go. The Joseph Story. How stuff away bikini with Annette and Frankie Avalon. Oh, that was a great films. Oh, Nutcracker. Oh, yes. I don't know. We're not going to go through all this. And yeah, but at any rate, we're not going to go through all these movies these days because of big deal. If you go to the search engine. Anyways. If you're gonna search through a movie, you have to pick this one if you get instant results. Here's your movie search. You have to search through a movie. And you got Annie Hall, the original Annie. Yeah, I remember this one, but yes, I used to like the movie, but this one's the other on the top left side, yeah, but that's way better than the the, the originals on the fourth. And there's also um a Royal Adventure, which, eh, that's not my guilty pleasure film. Annie Get Your Gun. Oh, my friend Annie. There's like, oh my gosh. I don't, uh, Annie Claus. And there you go. I, I always want to go back and try it again. If it's Annie Claus. Annie Claus. All right, so uh, we're not going to, at any rate, that, that's enough of that. So I'm um, trying to give you some stuff. So when you hit the button, here's a, here's a deal. Okay, I, I got this thing going here. So, well, I'm losing, I'm losing interest here. So just, just looking through all tons of movies, trying to give you a little tour. So uh, let's, let's go to this film, shall we? If you're interested so let me see if you want to look up the film you have to search through Cinderella now we see what there's his going from here oh yeah I know dogs here but yep it's three sets itself all right I yeah it looks like they started all over again okay I get it it looks like it's you have to start all over again Yeah, but I, I I really hate this when Android does this. Okay, we got the movie right there. 
So, uh, let's, uh, let me see if they could load this thing. You'd have to see what, well, if you want to turn down the volume here, so I don't want to get copyright hit, so let's see if I can start all over again. First, you got to click a movie, play a trailer, then you have to see, you have to either pick a trailer or download. If you go to some sort of HD, HQ, there's also 720, 1080. If you want to choose that download, yeah, you can tell, get streams found. Like, So if you want to choose 720, there you go. You have to either play, open, or download. And yeah, you're, you're, lo you're, you're all set and ready to go. And you got the opening scene. Yes, it's... I know a lot of people thought the VHS tape, the 1995 VHS, did plaster it with the... The Buena Vista logo got plastered over this the original logo, the RKO logo, which... Yeah, it froze! Looks like it got low time. Alright, I, I I had enough of this. Um, yeah, it's, it, it, the only thing I hate about this, it sucks. So, I don't I don't know why this is, this is happening. Yeah, the one thing I disagree is the low time. I really hate low times as annoying. All right, I I, I, I I have to stop this. So let's stop this for a moment and you'll see what this is. Okay, I know it's frozen. Yeah, it's frozen fever. Oh yes, there's that little Hebrew. Yeah, these are subtitles are Hebrew or Saudi Arabian or whatever you call it. Uh, Saudi Arabian or Hebrew. If you want to do is go to... Um, Fast forward, or you have to go, yep, there's your, and yeah, it is a low time, it's, it's an overkill, I can't stand why, you have to do is hit rewind, fast forward, or just close captioning, you can use this, just the options, so yeah, that's right, I, I had enough of that. So, let's get on with it. Uh, I quit. I quit. It's it's not really load. Yeah, I hate low times. Yeah, I, a lot of people have disagreed low times is just a pain in the butt. You have to go to the low resolution, like this. And yeah, we're going to start all over again. Yeah, there goes the original RKO logo. Yeah, but the 1995 VHS tape of Cinderella plastered it over the with the Buena Vista logo, and I know I don't. Oh my gosh! Ah, this is fr This is getting nuts. Yeah, we gotta go nuts with this thing. Yeah, let's chose. Let's resume this thing, and yeah, you'll be, you'll be sorry. Yeah, if you want to choose a low resolution setting, just do it yourself a favor. Don't. Okay, I, I, this is Hebrew gibber. It's not. It's not loading. It's not loading. Wait, all you get is audio. Where is the Where's the picture? Where is the picture here? Oh, there's a Cinema HD. Let's go back to... Let's try it again, shall we? Resume. Shall we resume? Hello? Today? Is this gonna... Is this taking longer to load? All right. It's just taking a while to load. It's it's not really great. I I, I can't I can't do it. I, I can't really do it here. So, all right, let's kick this out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. Now we're gonna go to this. Okay, we're going to the Mobro app. And you've got all the stuff in here. You got Full House. You got all this stuff. These are all whole bunch we have left here. So we're gonna. So let's hit the play button. You'll see what it does. And it started to load. Today. All right. We're not going to show this thing right now because it's copyright. So uh, we're going we're gonna to do it for five or ten seconds. 
okay, we're not, we're not going to go watch the whole Looney Tunes stuff because it's copyrights. There's Full House again. And there's your shows. Yeah, we got a whole bunch of stuff going to do. Where's that? Where is the load time? Where is it? Is this taking so long? All right. I get it. I get it. There's your Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and the whole thing. There's Disney movies 24-7. Yeah, you know, instead of that cinema app thing, yeah, Fro Cinderella movie was Frozen. There's a, there's a Little Mermaid. Yep, I know. Okay, I, I'm not going to go for that. That's, that's also copyright. All right, so we're not going to go through all this stuff. That's enough. Well, enough of that. So, what do you think about the Fire Sticks? Yeah, it's good. I like it, but it's not better than other stuff. You don't find any place else. You don't need cable or satellite or whatever you call it. Or whatever you want. This is what you get. There's a couple of other stuff that you have to find or expect to see. What you expect to see on the on your on your site on your main thing. And of course there's your go there you go. Well, we take a long yeah, it's been an hour, close to an hour, to do my demonstration of a Amazon Fire Stick TV. So there you go, that's all I have to say about that. So oh no, that's Sophie. Hey, Sophie. Alright, I just want to stop this video right now. And uh, come back and wrap things up. Right, there you have it. That was the um, Amazon Fire TV stick. I hope you all enjoyed demonstrating this video just for a little, just for fun. And uh, a lot of you people have enjoyed it so much. So if you have any suggestions or anything, any any words, if you have a, if you have a suggestion about this, uh, leave a comment below. Like, subscribe to your, and, and click on bell notifications for new videos. So anyways, that's it for for a little for a while but for today i will come back to do another demonstration video on this thing so we'll have to come back later and uh we'll demonstrate the the whole thing so hope you'll enjoy this demonstration and uh we'll we'll do another one in the next video we'll be demonstrating this this uh android tv thing that i got that my uncle gave me so anyways Hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, we'll come back later this week. We'll do more on this stuff. So anyways, this is Chris, and we'll catch you later.